Hello friends, my name is Ankit. I make educational videos on US healthcare trends. I'm back with another video on an upcoming fire interoperability stand, standard based on data exchange for quality measures, also known as DQM. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you regularly watch my videos, I would like to thank you for your support. Please like and subscribe to my channel for future updates. Now coming back to this video, let's uh, understand what is data exchange for quality measures. The purpose of this implementation guide is to support value-based care exchange in the US RAM. Interoperability challenges have limited many stakeholders in the healthcare community from achieving better care at lower cost. The dual challenges of data standardization and easy information access are compromising the ability of both payers and providers to create efficient care delivery solutions and effective care management models. To promote interoperability across value-based care stakeholders and to guide the development and deployment of interoperability solution on a national scale, the industry needs common information models and data exchange standards. If we talk about the overall quality improvement ecosystem, there are different stakeholders. There are researchers, peers, and public health surveillance in, uh, folks uh, who interact with clinical practice guidelines, which defines what should happen. These, uh, these guidelines, uh, based on these guidelines, the interaction happens with clinical decision support system, which, making, which makes it happen. The next set of communication happens with clinical care. The clinician and patient workflow are part of it. Based on that interaction, the measures and analytics is performed and quality measure reporting is performed, which is then reported to the researchers, payers, and the public health surveillance experts. As shown in step one of the diagram, the quality improvement ecosystem begins with information, preferably evidence based from research, public health surveillance, and data mining and other analysis performed by the third parties such as payers. Such information indicates existing status and knowledge about a given clinical topic. In step two, stakeholders such as professional societies, public health and government bodies and healthcare insurers have various methods for publishing such information to assure awareness among consumers, healthcare practitioners, and healthcare organizations about what is known and suggested methods for managing the clinical topic. Ideally, suggested management efforts are captured and documented in guidelines based on collaboration among clinical subject matter experts, terminologists, informatics, clinicians, and consumers. In step three, these clinical guidelines are translated into clinical decision support system, also known as CDS, artifacts to incorporate valuable clinical recommendations and actions directly within clinical workflow. To adequately impact clinical care for clinicians and patients require local implementation activities as shown in step four. Ideally, the clinical guidelines and CDS includes methods of, for evaluating what successful implementation means whether the clinical care ultimately provided included process that address the intent of the guideline and if it achieved the desired outcome. In step five of the process, it tries to close the loop and enable continuous improvement. The result of such measurement analytics must be reported for aggregate review. The step six finally includes reporting, which serves the purpose of evaluating clinical performance and outcome for healthcare organization, for public health and for peers. If you look at the overall landscape, uh, so uh, we have uh, three core areas. We have fire, we have SQL, we have specifiers, and then we have three IGs that interact uh, with each other. That includes quality measurement, uh, IG, QI core, and the DEQM reporting IG. The left side of the quality measurement landscape diagram depicts the uh, activities and standards associated with measure specification, while the right side depicts measure reporting. Stakeholders and the roles they play are represented by the three rounded rectangles in the foreground. Note that the list are representative of typical stakeholders, but that a single stakeholder may play any or all of the roles in the diagram. For example, an institution specifying its own measures for internal use would be the producer, consumer, and specifier. 
The measure specification involves the end product of the measure development process, a precisely specified, valid, reliable, and clinically significant measure specification to support accurate data representation and capture of quality measures. Clinical quality measures, CQMs, are tools that help measure and track the quality of healthcare services provided in care delivery environments, including eligible clinicians, ECs, eligible hospitals, EH, and critical access hospitals, CEH. Measuring and reporting CQMs help to ensure that our healthcare system is delivering effective, safe, efficient, patient-centered, equitable, and timely care. CQM measures uh, many aspects of patient care, including patient and family engagement, patient safety, care coordination, public health, population health management, efficient use of healthcare resources, and clinical process and effectiveness. In terms of measure reporting, it involves the data collection and aggregation, calculation and analytics, and ultimately reporting of quality measures. Measure reporting may be accomplished in different ways at various levels of the healthcare delivery system from individual providers attesting to specify specific quality measures as part of the federally regulated healthcare quality initiatives to provide organizations reporting to healthcare plans as part of the payer quality improvement activities to institutions reporting on the quality of their own healthcare delivery. Shareholders in the quality space represented by the three rounded rectangles in the foreground of the diagram. They fall into three broad categories. Data producers in the diagram represent the various stakeholders involved in the novo creation of the healthcare data. Data producers can include providers and provider system, patients, care team, caregiver, and patient engagement system, and the other related clinical systems such as laboratory, clinic, and hospital information system that are primary producers of the patient health healthcare information. Data consumers in the diagram represent the various stakeholders involving in the consumption and use of healthcare data. Data consumers can include data routers and aggregators, payers, health information exchanges, and health integrated network, as well as public health and other healthcare related agencies. Specifiers in the diagram represent the various stakeholders involved in the specification of quality measures for use in the healthcare quality measurement and reporting. Specifiers can include quality agencies, public health, and other health-related agencies, industry consortium concerned with improving care quality, and clinical professional societies. Specifiers may also be institutions and clinics using the quality measurement standards to specify quality measures for use in their own environment and quality improvement initiatives. Uh, this particular image, it shows the interaction between various standards and the uh, consumer-based definition. Uh, as illustrated, FHIR provides the foundation and set of profiles are built on top of FHIR that provide more and more focused use cases by constraining profiles and extending functionality to cover gaps. The additional layers are necessary to represent specific operations and provide space for agreement among relevant stakeholders. The consumer uh, consensus-based standard development process is used to suggest changes to the layers resulting in an ever-broadening umbrella of interoperability. The layering of profile balances the relative adoption. We should avoid proliferation of profiles and share profiles across various measures. They, sh they should not be profile specific to any particular measures. No terminology narrowing only for profiles. Profiles should not be used to specify terminology narrowing constraints. Finally, Promote data-related profiles when it becomes necessary to become a data-related profile at the measurement specific level in DEQMs or HIDIS, for example, steps should be taken to promote that profile to the uh, broadest consensus group possible. I hope uh, you liked today's video. Please feel free to reach out if you have any comments or if you would like me to make videos on a specific topic. For any additional details, please feel free to refer the DaVinci DQM Fire Implementation Guides. It was a pleasure meeting you all. Uh, see you until next time. Have a good day.